Hello all, Estimation, welcome back to more Shovel Knight. In the last episode, we, we had a rematch with Black Knight. And we also took care of some more of the little gem stages, which I didn't do in the previous episodes. And we also made it onto the third part of the map. Now, we have three new stages here. We have Clock Retired, Lure of Tinker Knight. We have the Flying Machine, Lure of Propeller Knight. And we also have the Stranded Ship, which is Lure of Polar Knight. Really quickly, I have a music sheet I want to hand into the village, so let's go do that really quickly. Thankfully, the armor outpost has a safe cannon we can use to get back there, or rather, a catapult, rather. And also, I like the music here, so don't blame it for coming back. Here we go. And now, suddenly, it's daytime again, but it was just sunset. And, phew, I made the cannon jump. That is a surprisingly difficult thing to make, and might as well increase my magic while I'm here. I have the money for it, I think. Yes, yes, I do. So I can get that. And Starlit Wind Wilds. I'm pretty sure that's actually the nighttime music when you're about to go to sleep near the campfire. Why they decide to give it to you so late in the game, I have no idea, but whatever. Okay. So we need to choose a new stage, and I decided I haven't died enough so far in this let's play, so let's go to the flying machine. This stage is pretty infamous for being the most difficult level in the game. Or one of the most difficult. There are a few more tricky ones, but this one gives a lot of people issues. The main reason for this is a gimmick which we'll get into later on. For now, our main goal is just to get onto the airship. We also have these electric jellyfish enemies. They work pretty similarly to the frog enemies we saw in the um, Spectre Knight stage. Don't try attacking them when they're being electrocuted, or else you will take damage. But you do need to bounce off their heads in order to get higher in this stage. And these blades use projectiles work a little bit differently. Rather than just going straight forward at you, when they reach a certain point, or, they, or when they reach where you are, they will split into two halves. None of the hops go straight forward. They basically just go up and down. Now against these eyes, it really is your best option just to break the orb from a straight on shovel attack. They make it really difficult to get through some of these sections. So I'm gonna have to start fighting your plasma with fire, I guess. <coughs> okay. And here's one of the gimmicks now, wind. The wind in this level will push you in a few directions. We also have these guys with fans, but they're not too care or too terribly dangerous right now. And I feel like if I jumped off your head, I could get some goodies. Yep, not gonna risk it now. But yes, the wind in this level will push you in several different directions, and its speed varies. So you have to be very cautious around those screens. Or else you will be spending way too much time in a bomb's pit than you'd like to. We also meet our Night Fairy into the stage, which were those guys. They are really, really athletic. They use the fans on the back of the, or on their or, Yeah, they use the fan on their backs to basically move around while really difficult to dodge patterns. All the while while stabbing either your or their sword, of course. So they can end up doing a lot of damage to you really fast. We also have these cannons, which fare out, you guessed it, cannonballs. So we're expected to bounce off of them in order to progress here. While dealing with wind. Of course, here we don't want to get hit by cannonballs. That would be bad. And in case it was not obvious enough, these platforms basically will just conceal where you are. They're not too, it's not too difficult to find where you are, though. Right, I need you two to fall out the sky. That would be nice. They can also conceal all their platforms, so just because one of these is here, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be plumbing down. For example, there's a platform here which protects us from some cannonballs. But not all of them. So you have to pay attention to which ones are getting through there. Okay. Now for a mini boss. We have three of the stages knights flying around in a helicopter thing. They like to rain down bombs every time they land, but you can actually knock the bombs back at them to do damage to them. And apparently they haven't mastered flying for long durations of time yet. So overall, that's not too bad of a mini-boss. Definitely not as bad as one in Plague Knight stage. That guy can give you some issues. 
That's probably the most difficult mini boss in the game overall. But here, the mini boss isn't so bad. Up, oh, hi there. Um, I know you're trying to help me, but yeah, sorry about hitting you with my shovel here. Well, here we have little windows which you can jump in to get some treasure. I don't actually want to jump off this ladder. The momentum for your fall will carry you through this one. And this isn't Stage's secret path, so if you want the Stage's relic, come here. Hello, Chester. Filled around the field. I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found. So it also is a propeller dagger. <coughs> Aside from the flare one, this is also one of my more favorite relics. When you use it, well, it's really simple. When you use it, you basically just fly through the air. You also hold out your sword, so you get an aerial dash attack, basically. Now, of course, it doesn't send you forward if you're being pushed by a fan. Or... But you get the gist. It's helpful for getting you across bottomless pits or jumps you don't feel safe trying to attempt. And I saw a fishing spot here. I'm never good at these, so let's give this one a go. Too early. Okay, there's a song scroll. And there's me falling into a bottomless pit. I probably should have remembered to go back to the propeller dagger, but whatever. I don't think anything too important was at the end of that. So we can go ahead and carry on doing the normal part of the stage now. With our new propeller dagger, which is a very welcome addition to my arsenal of relics. And I should probably take my own advice and not land on these things when they're being electrocuted. You don't have to worry so much about timing once you bounce on the first one's head, because they'll all go off in subsequent patterns. Basically, if you can get past the first one, you're good for the rest of them. As I shall now demonstrate twice, since I got knocked down by that guy. Uh, I'm feeling fighting him from a distance is probably a better idea. We can worry about getting across later. Alright. Anything in here? Yes, I had a feeling. I really should be checking those walls more often. Thankfully, it doesn't look like I'm going to miss a song school in this stage. Which is a nice change of pace from the last two stages. Go away. Okay. Not okay. Also, I just noticed something inside of the checkpoints when you light them on fire. Those are actually gems. Huh. Does that indicate, like, what, what kind of gem you get if you break them or something? I mean, I guess that probably makes sense. Shall we science? Let's science. Yes, it does, and that is a lot of money. Okay. So, if I end up going back to the last checkpoint, if I die again here, I don't even think I'm going to mind that much. I mean, that is a nice reward. Okay, don't want any of you guys to screw me up. Okay, and now all scrolls. Oh, God. Something tells me I want... Um, hmm. Yeah, propeller dagger is probably going to work best here. Especially since the wind is trying to blow us back at the moment. It would seem. Oh, God. I really don't want to deal with you guys. Oh, God. Solid ground. Yes, please. Uh, let's use a throwing axe here. Or let's not. And demonstration of not being able to respawn at a broken checkpoint. Joy, I'll meet you back there. Okay, let's give this part another try. Thing is, I don't even mind dying that much in this level. It has probably one of my favorite themes in the game, and I really like the aesthetic of the stage. The background looks really pretty, the block colors and patterns I use. This is really one of my more favorite levels in the game. Okay. Why are you such a pain? That is a really bad location to put one of you in. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna try phase locking myself out of existence this time, and hopefully that'll work a little bit better. Right as soon as I deal with you guys, of course. Okay, phase lock it. Save me from terrible, terrible enemies. Yeah, I wasn't confident making that jump. Alright. He should... Whoa, nearly went in the pit that time. It did go in the pit that time, and that did not work at all. Ah, I'm starting to regret sciencing. Maybe just using the flare wand is my best idea here. Alright. Or actually, maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe the propeller tiger is going to be more useful. Because this, I might just be able to fly over his head and land on the ground. I know I managed to do it the first time. The real danger is the fact that the wind is pushing me back here, but I hopefully should be good. Rapid success, rapid success, rapid success. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No. Ah. <sighs> Wasn't for the stage's music, I don't know how I'd keep my sanity here. Okay. I'd really just prefer it if you died, but you know, some things can't happen, I guess. Okay, now phase lock it. I don't have the MP for it. Okay, I'm safe. Phew! That was invigorating, but whatever. And I'm still not done, oh god. Okay, there's some cannonballs here. Hop, 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 hop. Safety? No, not safety. Oh, no, not safety. Oh, not safety. Where's my safety? There's my safety. Uh, checkpoint, checkpoint, there we go. Okay. Now let's all agree, never to break a checkpoint again. Oh, they're there to help. Let's let them do their job. Okay. With that little madness out of the way, we now have moving platforms with fans on them. <coughs> oh, God. That was crazy. That wasn't meant to be as difficult as it was. And you're concealing a pink gem. And that was a nasty trick. Okay. I don't know how many times I died there, but I definitely lost quite a bit of gold from that. And don't go send me into the spikes, please. Thank you. Ah. Thankfully, bosses do give you quite a lot of gold for beating them, so hopefully after I defeat Pelo Knight, I'll have made a lot of that back. If I was wondering, that's not even the part of the stage that usually gives people trouble. No, that will be coming up in a little bit here. Ah, your positioning there is really terrible. I don't feel safe. I don't know. What do you mean? You're not affected by the fan? That's not fair. It's in this dress. Huh. Anything else? No, okay. And he just had to knock me back down. Ugh. This is probably going to be the longest episode so far. I'm just going to go ahead and take a quick guess on that. If it wasn't for the onslaught of deaths that just happened. And now we have this set of rooms. In this room, the wind is pushing us up and down. So it's trying to raise us into spikes and lower us into bombers' pits. Which is obviously a little bit problematic. Okay, not quite enough reach on that one. So obviously it's not too bad, because the wind here is moving nice, slow and steady. So there's not too much to worry about, yes, and now suddenly high-speed winds shoving you in one direction and then sending you up. And there's spikes pretty much absolutely everywhere here, so you're in a little bit of a pain. Or you're in a little bit of a painful situation here. But then they make you do this jump, which, yeah. That didn't go well. I probably should have double phase locked there, but whatever. This is two set of rooms that gives a lot of people a lot of difficulty on their first time playing. <coughs> and hopefully I won't die too much, because I feel I've already died a lot in this stage. 
Can you ever give me enough freaks to get up here? No, they force you to do this jump. Also, jumping in these rooms is kind of ridiculous. Oh, uh, okay. I play to give you a little bit of a pause to react to the direction the wind will be swapping in. That doesn't save me from going into the bombs pit, though. What are we at now? 20 minutes? It's probably nowhere near 20 minutes, but I feel like it is. And that was the stupidest death so far. <sighs> I will complete the stage. I will complete the stage. I've done it before. I can do it again. Go away, jellyfish. I don't like you. Okay, yeah, so you can speed on a little bit there if you're willing to go over the jellyfish. Not like I really care about that. I'm not much of a speedrunning person myself. Okay. So I want to try a different timing here. Right about here, safe. Yeah, that seemed to work out better. And of course, we're still not done after that, because now we have to jump on little precarious tiny cannonballs to get across these pits. With the addition of color mice... But I'm pretty sure that's the end of the stage. Yes, 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 it is. Phew! There's something in here. Yeah, hope we feel. Now that's gonna save you from death, though, because now it's time to deal with Propeller Knight. Ha, ah, my petite blue friend, the sunset, she is beautiful, no? Get down here and face me, you gyrosophic jester. That's almost as good as a decadent daddy insults. Oh, so rude. My cue, they are not hospitable. My ship, it was not magnificent. If you consider magnificent falling into bombless pits and spikes several times, then yes, it was very magnificent. Not here to be entertained. I must reach the tower of fate. All business, no pleasure. Such a shame. Very well done. And guard. Time to deal with Power Knight. He is a very fast boss. He likes to use old fast um, jabs with his sword as he dashes across the screen. But that's not the real threat of this boss fight. No, that comes in a secondary. He can also send you into midair with his fan, and then he holds up his dagger to try and hit you on the way back down. This is his main vantage point in this fight. The ship in the background will be sending down cannonballs that will create bombless pits. So there is a very high risk of instant death in this boss fight. And he also likes to try and blow you into those pits using the fan on his head. So you have to be really cautious in this boss fight as not to die. If you're gonna die to anything, it'll be the bombless pits, trust me. These attacks aren't that hard to dodge, it's just the fact that one of them might knock you into a bombless pit. Huh. <sighs> And he's down. I also like the fact he drops a rose when you defeat him rather than just doing his typical death fall. The rose is a nice touch, but his stage isn't nice in any way, shape, or form. Huh. <sighs> oh, relaxation, it's done. Hopefully, in the next episode, well, the next two stages shouldn't be that bad. Or at least I'm not expecting to have as much trouble as them as I did with this one.